Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today, the 10th of January. Now, we got a decent break above the structure, and then we got a rejection higher up here, and uh, classic rejection. You can see there's multiple tails at this area, and that's exactly where we rejected that 33.943. We'll look at that on the lower time frames, uh, but again. We don't have a crossover of the moving averages, so that's always an indication that you're probably going to have a serious pullback or even a continuation in the previous trend. But this area that we're coming into now that we are at at the moment is a very strong area. You can see what's happened here since November last year. Uh, we've been bouncing off that, then we rejected it. So it makes sense that we're coming back to test it. Don't like the way the oscillators are looking at the moment. That's indicating... A much deeper pullback and uh, you'll probably pick it up on the lower time frames but when we start looking at the three hour you'll see nice three hour rejection bar there off a level pull back into a zone of support and I say zone because it is like that if I go back you can see lots of action in this space so um, this is the area that I'd be paying attention to because this is where obviously there's supply and demand here. So you're looking for price to fall back in here. You're looking for an opportunity to buy into this um, if it finds support here. Otherwise, what you're going to be looking for is a move down. And uh, what is forming is a pretty big channel. Okay, so let's just get down to the lower time frames. That's what we're interested in today. So some of these gaps have closed. Uh, the weekly gap is closed. Uh, this gap that was over here is closed. We've still got this big gap here um, that it's open from Friday. Uh, but I had a look at the, the oscillators here. Uh, look at the swing low in comparison to this swing low. We've got diversions forming. So you start getting price action here and you start getting breaks above uh, the price action. This is a continuation up and I would be aiming for 33.943. So from an hour perspective, uh, this is the pullback we're looking for, but we now need to find the price action we want on the, the levels that we have here. So just getting down to 15 minutes, just having a look at yesterday, you could see how we battled, 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 then solid bar, bit of a weird bar, then a bar that opens on its low, closes in high, strong bull bar, but then immediately an inside bar. So that's seen as an exhaustion bar onto a level, uh, and then you know, inside bar, your stop. You, so your entry is around there at 33.920, and your stop would have been at around 33.975. So a nice, decent 60, 50 point stop loss. Uh, fairly decent, fairly low risk for a move back down onto structure. So that's kind of um, was a setup that we had yesterday. Uh, and you can see oscillators all grouped the upside, everything was up there. So we look at the 15 minute here, we've got a crossover the moving averages. We've got, we're staying below this area here. I really don't see us breaking through the zone unless we've got some catalyst at the moment. Now bear in mind, we do have some big gaps to the downside here, which could be um, filled as well. So what we're looking for is we're looking for inside bars, like what's forming now. We're looking for pin bars or engulfing bars, and they need to be off 33,443. We can't get them off that. Then we're looking for it to drop down to 33,316. Start dropping below that, then uh, you're more than likely going to get these gaps closing. But as I say, this zone, uh, you know, when you look at it on the three hour, there was a lot going on in this zone. So the buyers are going to be waiting here. The bulls are going to be waiting here because they've seen a breakout. They're waiting for the pullback onto this triangle breakout. And uh, they pretty much all have a measured move of around 976 points. So if you go like that and you look there. So they are looking for something up here at 34316. Okay, uh, the only thing that is really going to get me jumping in 
short at the moment um, and is going to be a drop below Friday's low. So even if we pull back down to, to close the gap, it's still bottom of the channel. There's going to be an opportunity there to buy. But uh, you'd be waiting to see if we break below the lows of Friday. Drop breaking below the lows of Friday. Um, what was that? that? Yeah, so it's Friday and Thursday. So we start dropping below those lows. Then, you know, we can start looking for opportunity to short this. But at the moment, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... I'm looking for some action in this zone here to buy. So these are the two levels, 33.443 and 33.316. You want price action to form in this area for an opportunity to jump in long above the price action and the stop directly below it. And um, if you're a bit uh, wary, then just keep your position size smaller. So uh, it should be a nice low risk a sort of low risk, not so much high reward, but low risk, uh, easy reward uh, setup because I think you will be capped here again, top of channel, uh, and at this level here at 33943. Get through that level, that's a different ball game completely. Uh, lastly, uh, what you would also be wise to do is to pull your Fibonacci's in and look at where those two zones appear on the Fibonacci. So this is the 50% retracement, that's 61 point eight percent retracement so um yeah it's all playing out as far as i'm concerned this is your buying area hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now